Hey, it's Ike Ahmed from University of Toronto, University of Utah. Happy to speak about my experiences and my thoughts with regards to the Omni Surgical Device System. We use, of course, as, MIG, as part of our mix procedures. You know, MIGS is really a concept of early intervention. And we're kind of in the era of interventional glaucoma, trying to intervene earlier in disease and trying to address some of the patient reported issues we know, of course, with conventional therapy, whether medications or surgery. I want to talk a little bit about just about, you know, the mechanism of action. And we know, of course, the pathology in glaucoma, typically trabecular meshwork, resistance to outflow. And if we intervene early enough, we can often reverse some of these changes. And that's why I think treating early is important. Visco dilation, of course, allows for some of the facilitation of APHIS alpha through the TM, addresses some of the collapse of the canal as well as downstream resistance. And I'd like to combine this, of course, with otomies depending on the severity of disease. You know, we do a lot of combined procedures. I think it's become pretty standard of care to combine a mixed procedure like Omni with cataract surgery. Um, I think the opportunity to lower medication use, quality of life is important. Where we have now done a lot more expansion and utilization in the case of the standalone. This is a little bit more nuanced. Who's the right patient? When do we intervene? How many medications? Severity? What the right demographic is? In our experience, we are very careful in advanced disease. These patients have pretty bad disease. Outcomes aren't necessarily as good as doing it in early disease. That's one of the differences we find. But really the sweet spot for these procedures are mild to moderate patients. Patients who aren't being well served with medications, for example, one or two or three medications, not very compliant, adverse events. Doing a safe procedure like Omni can restore aqueous outflow, reduce or eliminate medications, reduce IP fluctuation, and hopefully prevent visual field progression, the need for more surgeries as other you've seen with other clinical trials. You know, the patient as well, who again is on multiple medications, in multiple heart disease, we don't want to take them to a, a blood forming procedure. The outcomes, of course, are very good with blood forming procedures, but there's risks early and late. We prefer to do uh, an ab internal procedure. Here we need to get power. Uh, going to the eye strictly for the purpose of lowering pressure, we need to maximize the uh, IV lowering of our mixed procedures. I think that uh, combining mechanism of action, cutting approaches, dialing the canal, dealing with downstream resistance, I think is something that theoretically and, and certainly practically can be achieved with the omnisurgical system. And this is why I think for standalone procedures is optimized for those approaches. So it's exciting to be in MIGS. We're growing our indications in standalone. We're still learning the right patient population. Uh, and we hope to learn more from clinical studies. So thanks for listening. I look forward to more research and more work with MIGS and the Omni system and other approaches to treat glaucoma, hopefully early and better for our patients. Thank you very much.